remote solar isolator is easily fitted to any new solar installation or retrofitted to any existing solar installation without the need to modify any of the existing wiring between the switchboard and the solar panels. This video, used in conjunction with the Remote Solar Isolator Installation Guide, provides an overview of these installations. After deciding on the required Remote Solar Isolator for the job, using figures 1 to 11 of the Installation Guide, the installer must shut down the system in accordance with the standard shutdown procedure. Usually this requires switching off the AC isolator, then followed by turning off the DC isolator. It is recommended that the solar panels that will connect to the remote solar isolator cables 1 to 4 or 1 to 8 respectively be unplugged. If required, these panel connectors may be changed to identically match those of the remote solar isolator. If the connectors are changed, they must then be tested for polarity as per figure 21. Mount the remote solar isolator using standard mid clamps between the desired solar panels so that all cables will extend to the desired termination. Remote solar isolator cable trays may be used to provide mechanical support for all cables and once cables are laid into the cable trays, they may then be cable tied into position. Connect numbered leads from the remote solar isolator to the respective panels as per figures 1 to 11 of the installation guide. Run the cables down to the switchboard mounted power supply in accordance with any local standards. Terminate this control cable to the remote solar isolator as per the installation guide. Then connect the red and black cables to the corresponding red and black cable of the 24 volt DC power supply. The AC of the power supply is usually connected to a 10 amp circuit breaker via the inverter side of the AC isolator. See figure 23. Finally, with the AC isolator in the off position, test the output of the solar installation at the inverter with the DC isolator in the on position. This reading must read zero. Then turn on the AC isolator and you should notice the inverter voltage will read close to the open circuit voltage of the system. The polarity of this reading should be also checked. Place a reflective sticker onto the switchboard, label the remote solar isolator power supply circuit breaker and your job is complete.